I've been using Google Pixels all the way back since the Pixel 3 in 2018, so now I like to think that I know a thing or two about the hidden tricks that Google Pixels might have. But there is an app that every time I set up my Pixel phone, I just ignore, and I shouldn't, and I guarantee that you aren't using this either. I know everyone has their favorite app, so it might be an app for controlling your car, it might be Strava for tracking those runs, and personally, one of mine is LocalSend that makes moving files between my MacBook and my Pixel phone an absolute breeze. But over the past couple of days, I've come to realize that my new favorite app on my Pixel is the Tips app. And this is because it's reminded me of a lot of features that I completely forgot existed, or even ones that I'm not even ashamed to say I didn't even know. And if you've never really checked that Tips app out, I would say go and have a look because I guarantee you, you'll find something in here that you didn't know. So I'm just gonna give you a rundown of a few of my favorites that the Tips app has either reminded me of or just taught me exist on my Pixel phone. I'm gonna start out with this one because it actually came in handy this week. So if you're like me and you get calls from unknown numbers, there isn't a chance you're gonna answer it because A, it means you have to speak to a human and who wants that? And B, no one has time for cold sales calls. And I know in the US, spam calls are actually pretty bad, but did you know that away from call screening, which by the way, is one of the best features you can get on any phone, you can actually look up a number right from that stock dialer on your Pixel. All you have to do is find the number that called you, which is unknown, and then in the bottom right, there's a little look up button, which I've never even noticed before. As soon as you tap that, it'll do a Google search for you and try and let you know who exactly it was that was calling you. It's pretty simple, but it makes knowing who called you very quick. Now sticking with calls, here's one that I didn't know about because in the UK, this isn't available. It's only available in the US. But if you ever have to call somebody and you know you're gonna be put on hold, you might wanna have a look at this one. No one likes to be put on hold when they make a call to like an airline, for example. But the stock dialer inside the Pixel can show you exactly how long the wait time might be for a number that you're calling. Although this seems to only work with certain numbers. Now, obviously I had no idea this existed with it being US only, but even here in the UK, this would be a lifesaver when calling almost any company that puts you on hold. Even if that wait time is a little bit too long, the stock dialer will even show you the days that you might wanna call back on where there's gonna be a shorter hold time. And I gotta tell you, I'm jealous that we don't have this one back in the UK. Now, the next tip that I found inside that tips app was one that I actually knew already, but I completely forgotten it even existed. So I take ages when picking wallpapers. I'll sit there for hours trying to find the right one. And I mostly pick landscapes or architecture, but there is something that I did forget existed inside those wallpaper settings. And that is turning your wallpapers into a cinematic masterpiece. Okay, masterpiece might be a bit dramatic, but Google does give you the option to set up a cinematic wallpaper. It adds a 3D effect and motion effect to pretty much any image you have in your gallery. And I found that this works best on things like pets or something like a building. You know, something that might have nice 3D depth in real life. And it doesn't work amazingly on all photos, but all you have to do to get this working is tap that Gemini logo in the bottom right corner, and it takes a minute or so, then every time you unlock your phone, you get this really nice cinematic transition into your home screen. And I like this, so I'm glad the Pixel Tips app reminded me it existed. The next tip that I was reminded of inside that Tips app was that you can actually use your Pixel phone as a webcam. The reason that I forgot that this existed was because my monitor has an okay webcam, but why would I not want to use full quality Pixel cameras for my next Google Meets call? You can connect your Pixel phone to anything that supports webcams over USB. All you then have to do is just change the charging this device notification over to webcam, and as long as your Pixel is running Android 14 or later, you're good to go. And sticking with using your Pixel for something else, you can actually use a monitor or TV as an external display for your phone. Now, you need a Pixel 8 or newer and be running Android 15 to get this working, but then all you have to do is connect it to a TV or monitor that supports DisplayPort via USB-C or have an adapter, and then you have your Pixel on a big screen. And personally, I actually don't think that this is massively useful, and there's a little bit of lag when showing a YouTube video on that display, but if you ever needed to show a lot of people your phone screen at one time, then you have it. They seem to be some of the better tips that I found in the Tips app, but honestly, if you just go into that Tips app, you will find loads of features that you probably didn't know existed. And I even got reminded that there's an audio emoji that you can use within calls. Like, 
who needs that? I forgot about creating emojis in Emoji Kitchen, which I was reminded of. And I can't say that I have or will really ever use this, but if I ever need a cat riding a spaceship, now I know where to go. There were a couple of other hidden tips that I completely forgot about, and I know I should have remembered them, and I'm sure you did, like taking a screenshot of whatever page you're on by swiping up rather than using the power and volume rocker to take a screenshot. And you can also copy and share any image on your screen using that exact same action, which I didn't even know about. There's the option for you to even use your Pixel phone for multicam live streaming. And this only works with the Pixel 9s, but you can use any Pixel from the Pixel 6 for the additional camera. But sadly, this does exclude any Pixel A series devices. But I completely forgot that you can do some really cool streaming with your Pixel phones. So actually spending time within the Pixel Tips app was useful. And you know what? I'm glad I went back into it rather than just dismissing it on startup and forgetting it ever existed. Granted, it might not be the most exciting app that you'll ever use, but I feel like every single phone could use this, especially now with the amount of AI that's on Pixel phones or Samsung phones, and it could just walk you through it a little bit more. So it could be worth checking that Tips app if you want to know a little bit more about your Pixel. But if you have any sort of tips that you use on your Pixel every single day, why not let us know in the comments below because I'm curious to see what else I can learn in case I've just forgot something that the Pixel Tips app didn't let me know about. Before you head off, why not subscribe to the channel? And if you do that, then I'll see you in the next video.